Hi, everyone. I'm Paul with Madcap Software. E-learning. So originally, I intended to create a, just a 10-part video series for e-learning, and that's what we have. But I decided to create some additional features. And this the reason for this is because of the uh, project templates that you see within Flare that have to do with e-learning. When you create a brand new project in Flare and you go through the wizard, you see this e-learning project template and you see this uh, e-learning project template. And in the output, when you generate it, you start going through that. Well, you start seeing some features like this one, like the two tiles and this one, the hotspot pop-ups. And you go and you see drop downs in here and slideshow, video, iframe. All right, so none of these features have anything to do directly with e-learning. It's just that I happen to put them in those project templates as examples of just some things that you can do in Flare. Anybody can do these, whether you're doing uh, e-learning courses or not. And, but because they are part of those e-learning project templates, I did want to uh, create some videos to further explain how you can do these things. So uh, for I'm going to just kind of go through these in alphabetical order. So you got these guys, drop downs, where you can uh, click on these heads or these headings, and it expands or collapses the content under it. Those are called drop downs. And so you want to see the drop downs video if you're interested in that, want to learn more about them. Then there are iframes. All right, so you've got iframes in a topic, and this is showing uh, a website, an external website, but it's right there in your topic, and it's in its own little frame, and people can scroll through it. If you want to know more about that, check out the iframes video. And then there are image maps. Now, in the project template, you're you're going along and you see hotspot pop-ups and the map in there. And so people can click on parts of that map and it brings up a pop-up of a, an, another topic with more information. These are actually called image maps with, uh, and then you have hotspots in there and they pop these things up. That's the way that was designed, but they're image maps. And so if you're interested in implementing that, check out the image maps video. Uh, then there are responsive layouts. In the project template, you're going to see these two blue tiles side by side containing some, uh, some content in them. And the really cool thing about these is when the screen gets small, like down to a smartphone, these tiles will stack on top of each other. So it's responsive. And this was created um, using a feature in Flare called responsive layout. So if you want to do that, check out the responsive layouts video. And then there are slideshows. You'll see this, and I'm sure that you've seen slideshows before where you just click on the arrows and you navigate through a series of slides to see different content. Check out the slideshows video if you want to know about that. And finally, there are uh, there's a topic that has a sample video in it. Just It's a link to a YouTube video. YouTube's one way to do it. There are other ways to do it. And so if you want to know more about uh, in integrating videos into your Flare projects, whether it's an e-learning course or something else, uh, check out the videos, uh, the videos video. All right. So where do you get these videos? Well, just go to the very end of this video and you're going to see the playlist, the overall playlist for e-learning. And uh, those videos, those extra videos are in there along with the 10 part, the original 10 part video series, and you can just have at it. That's all I wanted to talk to you about in, uh, in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.